Well, this might just be the most awesome demonstration of civil disobedience in the history of humanity. Farewell visit to U.S. troops in Afghanistan today. The president landed at Bagram Air Base earlier today. He talked with troops and told them he was going to miss being their commander in chief. Mr. Bush also met with Afghan President Hamid Karzai. He also reaffirmed the U.S. commitment to Afghanistan. No word of any foot apparel was tossed at him on that trip to Afghanistan. Different story in Iraq. He met there earlier with troops. Pretty bizarre encounter there in Baghdad at a news conference. He was with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki when a man got up, tossed his shoes at the president. <laughs> You can see that the uh, president was able to dodge both of those shoes. Now, the man is an Iraqi reporter. He is in custody right now and may face assault charges. Now, hitting someone with a shoe is a sign of contempt in the Iraqi culture. Well, Michael Ware has more on the incident from Baghdad. In Iraq, it was the morning after the American president had to duck for cover when an Iraqi journalist at a press conference threw his shoes, the height of insult in this culture, at the American president, opinions were divided the next day here on the ground. Evenly, people split between those who supported his actions, a fierce protest, saying President Bush deserved no less, were opposed by those who condemned the action, not because President Bush did not deserve it, but that the journalist should not have done it in front of the Iraqi Prime Minister and embarrassed him. Also, it seems to be universally accepted among Iraqis today that the journalist should not be sitting in a jail. And popular opinion appears to sympathise with his sentiment, if not his methods. And indeed, in his home neighbourhood of Sada City, Hundreds took to the streets in angry protest, setting American flags ablaze and calling for the journalist's release. This is almost certain to be one of the most lasting images of this war and that will become part of the legacy of this American administration. Michael Ware, CNN, Baghdad. Did you see the way they kicked him when he was on the ground? Nothing has really changed in Iraq.